Hello, friends. Welcome back to Bottomless Bunch of Coleman's. This time, we're celebrating Juneteenth by honoring the music that moves the culture and those remarkable artists who stirred our souls and made us move and groove and get down with our bad selves. Another really joyous and beautiful thing about music is that it does not care about what you wear. So pants on, pants off. We're cool, baby, as we jam our way into the bottomless brunch zone. Get ready, a one, two, three, check, check. All right, let's meet my brunch guests, okay? I'm beyond excited for this episode, you guys. She's a master drummer, singer, author, actress, activist, and a Grammy-nominated artist with an astonishing body of work. <laughs> the world-renowned queen of percussion, the legendary, the electric, Miss Sheila E. Give it up, everybody. Ah, thank you. All right, and this brother, He's the CEO of the Recording Academy. He has written and produced so many songs for so many superstars. He's a songwriter, a record producer, a film producer, the musical mastermind himself. Give it up for Mr. Harvey Mason Jr. Woo! Hello. Thank you, Coleman. Harvey. You make you make me sound good, Coleman. I'm gonna take you everywhere. Oh, please, please. I'm, I'll be your hype man forever. I got you, brother. I got you. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Sheila Love E., it. you've got your own fantastic interview show called Sheila E. TV. I saw an episode with you and the legendary percussionist Pete Escovito. Now, how did you manage to book such an amazing guest? I know it must have been hard. <laughs> <laughs> I know people. <laughs> <laughs> you know people who know people, right? Yeah, I, I prayed about it. I was like, God, can you bring somebody named Pete Escovito to my house? <laughs> My daddy's amazing. Now, thank you. <laughs> sure, it's a, it's a great show. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> and, Har <laughs> and Harvey, I'm going to list just a few names and let me know when I say someone you have not worked with. Aretha Franklin. I have, yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. Michael Jackson. I have. Whitney Houston. Yes. Beyonce. Yes. Mozart. That is a no. I had a birthday, but I'm not, hey, I'm not that old. I knew we'd find somebody. I knew, I knew it. See, I see. I was just gonna try to, I was just gonna try to get you. I knew, I knew there was one person you've worked with. Okay, we're gonna chat more in a bit, but first, I want to make a quick cocktail, and then we'll get into some more conversation. Okay, y'all. All right, friends, I sent you everything you need to make your cocktail. You got it all. And it's always great to have a glass of water handy. Stay refreshed and hydrated, like, you know, so we can all look like Miss Sheila E. and Mr. Harvey Mason Jr. All right, today we're going to shake things up and make a cocktail called Penicillin with Johnny Walker Black Label. It's a modern classic invented in 2005 by a mixologist in New York City. All right, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need one and a half ounces of Johnny Walker Black Label. Harvey, you're making a non-alcoholic version, so we sent you a Seed Lip Spice 94, which is wonderful non-alcoholic spirit, and half an ounce of ginger liqueur. Harvey, we got you ginger syrup. Got it. We have three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice, two dashes of aromatic bitters, candy ginger, or fresh ginger. And I'm thrilled that we're using Johnny Walker whiskey for this occasion because this brand stands for collective progress. Through its ongoing celebration of firsts, Johnny Walker continues to toast trailblazers like yourselves who have pushed boundaries and bam, open doors. What we're gonna do today, class, we're gonna add two dashes of aromatic bitters to a cocktail shaker. This thing is your cocktail shaker, okay? Okay. Got my bitters. How do you know how much is two bitters? You know, you wanna, you, go, you're gonna go for two dashes. And dashes are all sort of, um, they're little drops. And it's all okay. subjective. I think a dash could be boom, boom. Two little drops. Right. Yeah, just hit it twice. Boom, boom. Okay. Got yeah. It. Got it. G give it a nice boom, boom. You see you see how? Boom, you know, boom. Gave, a squash, squash. There we go. I gave you a little percussion in there. There we go. All right. <laughs> boom, boom. And, <laughs> boom, boom. And then you're going to add three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. I got you some honey syrup. Oh, we're doing the honey? Honey, OK. okay. Let's honey. do for the honey. Right up. You know, a little Mariah Carey for us. There we go. I got it. Perfect. I got it. Look at that. Beautiful. You got it. All right. And now you're going to add three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Fresh lemon. I like nice. to go for and, old school hands. You said three quarters? Three quarters. You don't even have to measure it. Okay. Just squeeze that baby in there. Oh, okay. Got it. 
Show, show us your squeezing technique, uh, Miss Sheila E. Let's see it like, perfect good. See? See how this woman uses her hands? We've seen her drum. There we go. Oh, 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 see? OK, cool. <laughs> All right, that feels about right. Now we're gonna add a half an ounce of ginger liqueur. Half an ounce of ginger liqueur. Here we go for a half an ounce. Perfect. And then pour it in here, yeah? Pour it right in there, right in there. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna add one and a half ounces of Johnny Walker Black Label or Seed Lip. I'm using this, okay. Mmm, all right, you can make it with Johnny Walker Double Black to make it even more smoky next time. And one more thing about Johnny Walker. They're walking the walk by helping others take bold first steps through various grant initiatives, including a new program for black creators. I'll keep walking to that. Now, we're gonna add ice to this shaker. Add ice. Add ice. I would say, you know, give it like three, four cubes in there, big cubes. If you got three, four yeah. cubes, okay. One, two, three. I got some crushed ice, so. You got some crushed ice? That works as well. All right. Let me see you shake it. Huh. Go for it. <laughs> Sheila, here we go. Maybe we can make some of Oh, you're going fast. Me and Harvey, we're just chilling. We're on a... Oh, y'all chilling? Yeah. No, I'm, yeah. a, I'm fully... I'm at Madison Square Garden right now. That's I'm fast. Coleman's uh, hype. Let's get hype. <laughs> right, Coleman. Okay, ready? <laughs> Double time. Uh, yes. Double time. <laughs> Perfect. That's great. <laughs> Double time. Perfect. Okay, now you're going to take this lid off. Harvey, I believe yours work like this as well. Just take this part of it off right here. Got the top. It. Yours, Sheila E. I think you have the same one. Pull that yes. right off. Great. Now we're gonna grab our box glass. We're gonna fill it with ice. Fill this with ice. More yes, ice. fill our rocks glass with more ice. ice. More ice, more ice. More ice. Fill that baby up. Perfect. We're gonna strain it right in here, okay? Make sure it's, yes, beautiful. Be look at that, beautiful, beautiful. You, Sheila, you look like you've done this before. <laughs> Love your glass, too. There we go. Perfect. Great. Thank you. All right. And now we're going to garnish this with a stick of candy ginger or some fresh ginger if you fresh ginger. Perfect. Yes. Love garnish that ginger. For our friends at home, you can find the recipe for the penicillin cocktail with Johnny Walker Black Label on amc.com slash brunch. But please remember to drink responsibly. You know what? I'd like to send a toast to you, legends, what you do, what you give, the way you give it. I appreciate you, I, I really. Hats off, I bow down, cheers to you. Cheers to you. And to you, Coleman, thanks for having us. This is great. Yes, very welcome. thank you. How's that taste? Ah. Woo-hoo. <laughs> Whoa! You got a look. This interview's okay. about to get Patty interesting. Patty right now. Oh, uh, hold on. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wow. Oh, this good. Is really good. I'm so glad. <laughs> Miss Sheila E., how did you get your brunch on? Oh, today I have a lovely salad with the uh, Angus beef and a little spice. Just a small little salad with a little beef. Yeah. That's beautiful. How's that beef prepared? It's just grilled, just on the. I like grilling a lot. I and. Love uh, it. There's not a lot of mess to clean up after. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, yeah. Mr. Harvey. Uh, Harvey, what magic did you dream up in the kitchen? I don't know if it's magic, but I have overnight oats, and I actually can't claim credit for it. Uh, my wife, Britt, makes these, and she sets them up, up the night before. Uh, they, they stew in some kind of mystery sauce. I don't know what it is, but it tastes good as heck. And I oh, have it in the mornings good. with my blueberries and shaved almonds, and uh, it's delicious. Can't wait to eat. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, you guys. All right, good. I love that. All right, I went with something that I consider one of life's simplest pleasures. I, I, uh, I, I present to you the uh, avocado toast, which Ooh. my best friend Stacy would challenge me. She was like, oh, you eat guacamole on toast? I said, nah, Stacy, it's called avocado <laughs> toast. <laughs> and I also, because it's the music slash Juneteenth episode, I couldn't resist, but I had to go out and get some red velvet cake. Oh, come on, Coleman. 
Wow. Bon appetit. Let's see. Uh, let's see how those uh, those oats are. All right. See how your wife did with that. And how about how that steak turned out? Mm. So good. Oh, oh boy. Mm hmm. I did all right. Okay. So my first question with this conversation to both of you guys, I wanted to, you to imagine I have a magic wand and we're gonna have the most epic jam session to celebrate black music during Juneteenth. Sheila E, you get to pick the band and Harvey, you get to pick the vocalist, dead or alive. I might throw in some in there too, go. Wow, whoa. Come on. Dead or <laughs> okay, so since we have Harvey Mason Jr. Here, then I'd pick his dad to play drums. Ooh. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Come on now. Great call. I used to play in his dad's band, so there you go. That's right. That's right. Who's our bassist? Um, Christian McBride. Okay. Yeah. Who's on keys? I think Stevie Wonder's on keys. My yeah, Stevie Wonder. Well, well, Stevie's George on Duke. like a lot of Stevie instruments and George. as well. <laughs> Stevie and George. Yeah, yeah. They, they they go in and Stevie out. Stevie and, and George. George Duke. Yep. Mm -hmm. Guitar. Right. Ooh, Prince. Prince is on guitar. I don't okay. need nothing else, no. <laughs> All right, now I need some vocalists. I need some vocalists as well. Harvey? I'm gonna go a little left of center with a ballad singer that's one of my favorites was Luther Vandross. Man, mm. Absolutely. No one can interpret a ballad like he could, or very few people. Whitney was also pretty spectacular at, at the emotional, you know, heartfelt ballads. So I'd have to have the two of them maybe doing a duet. How about that? Beautiful. I think this jam session is gonna work out. Thank you, we're gonna, we're gonna work this out. And Sheila, you use music as a form of activism or what I like to call artivism. I trademarked it, so if you say it, you know, you owe me some money. So what is Sheila E. saying in her music today? That's what I wanna know. It's interesting because as we grow as artists and even going through life, we keep changing. I mean, right now, I'm uh, doing my first ever salsa record. Whoa! I know, I've never really? done a salsa record. Yeah, I've never done a salsa record. So these are still things that I've always wanted to do and it's the right time to do it. To inspire people. We all want to be inspired through these times. It's just like, gosh, really? <laughs> um, when you've been known for something like Glamorous Life, which is one of my favorite songs, do you, especially as you've evolved so much and play the, and I'm sure people are like, oh, can you play that thing that we love so much? Do you still feel that same um, feeling to play it? Oh no, I've never not played it <laughs> in my show. <laughs> it means something to me. It was purposely done to let people know that this is a woman here playing timbales. There were so few playing percussion at the time. So it was important to establish that out of the gate. I was legendary too. I remember when I first heard that sucker, I was like, oh my gosh, what is this song? Who is this? And then I found out it was you and I said, oh, this is, this is groundbreaking. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate Truly. that. Yeah, thank you. My friend said before, when she felt so good about a musician, she wanted to run up on stage and climb on their back. That's the kind of feeling <laughs> you, you elicit from me. Sheila, we're giving you your flowers today. We're Thank giving you, you your flowers, all right? Thank you. And, and Harvey, I'm gonna give you your flowers too, okay? Because you played for the University of Arizona and went to the final four. Not many people know that, all right? I didn't know are, that. Nope, yeah. nope, not many people knew that, okay? I wanna know, are there some skills from basketball that helped you in your music career? Everything about basketball has helped me mm. in my career. I'm just the dedication and, and the sacrifice that it takes to be a, a high level athlete and to accomplish your goals in athletics really translate to music. I'm sure Sheila spent hours and hours practicing. Uh, you know, that's what I was doing and I learned so much about mm. just the level of excellence and expectation and not setting the bar too low, but setting it extremely high, higher than even I thought I could accomplish. And those are things that I learned in sports that I think have helped me as, as a producer, a songwriter, also just an executive trying to run a company. Absolutely, 100%. Tell it to the people in the back, 100%. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sheila E, last year you became the first woman to be inducted into the Modern Drummer Hall of Fame. How does that make you feel? I'm, I'm humble and grateful, but I mean, I know I'm not gonna be the last one. I mean, there's so many incredible women that are playing. Social media is so amazing to be able to discover new artists. You, you have no idea when you're doing what you're doing, you love what you get to do, that you're touching other lives all over the world. You have no idea. Oh, that's good. Harvey, uh, looking back at your career now, I wanna know who opened some key doors for you 
and what were some of your critical firsts? Well, I have to say I was very fortunate because I grew up around my father and I don't for a moment pretend to think that that wasn't important in my upbringing, but also early success. You know, he was pretty specifically focused in, in jazz music and doing sessions and, and working in the studios. And that wasn't necessarily the path I wanted to go. I wanted to be a songwriter and a producer, but having the energy and the, just the perspective that he gave to me was very helpful. So all credit goes to my father and then also my mom, who was a musician. Beautiful, man. Um, Sheila, everyone knows one of your greatest collaborators was Prince. Mm -hmm. Now my sister had a question for you. A okay. question that she, she wanted to know was, what did Prince smell like? <laughs> <laughs> That is a crazy question, sister. <laughs> what? You know what? I what? thought it would be a question that nobody would ever ask you, Sheila E. I don't think That's you've ever been true. asked that before. Th they I have? have? They've asked you that? I have. Really? He loved, this is a story, but he loved wearing cologne, perfume, but he would try different things and not just men's cologne, as you know. And it's just like yeah. whatever smelled good to him. It was around 77, 78 when he came to the Bay Area. Um, this is when we first started hanging out. and. I said, you have to come hear my, my family and, and us play Latin jazz. You got to come hear the band. So he comes, he picks up the bass player uh, who was playing bass with my dad. And so he played bass. And then we did this whole thing. And then the bass player said, he goes home and he opens, he goes, what is that smell? And he opened up his bass case. He goes, oh man, this smells like my aunt, you know, <laughs> my aunt. <laughs> so what? what <laughs> Whatever perfume Prince had on that day smelled like, yeah, like this some guy. Chanel number who is five, right. <laughs> from Amsterdam. He said, it smells like my auntie. So, you know. <laughs> so that answers my question, basically. There so you Prince go. could smell like your auntie, basically. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I came up with this musical name game. I'm going to give you the real name of an artist, and I want you to give me their stage name. Let's go, Coleman. Bring it. <laughs> All right, come on, here we, here we go, here we go. All right, Peter Jean Hernandez. Is that A, Bruno Mars, or B, Bad Bunny? Bruno Mars. Harvey? Bad Bunny, just so we make sure we get it right. Okay, <laughs> it's Bruno Mars, it's Bruno Mars. Right. <laughs> All right, wow, Melissa Jefferson. Now that is the most <laughs> regular name. She needs to change this name, let's see. Is that <laughs> A, Lizzo, or B, Megan Thee Stallion? Melissa Jefferson. I'm gonna say Lizzo. Lizzo. Lizzo, Lizzo. yeah, Lizzo was Melissa Jefferson. She was due for you that know. name. <laughs> she was, come on, it's just a minute, she was due for that name. She needed to give herself a Lizzo. Come on, ooh, I'm, who you listening to Melissa Jefferson? Oh yeah, let me get that Melissa Jefferson album. I'm going to Melissa that's Jefferson's a, concert. No, you ain't going there, you going to Lizzo. Lizzo, Lizzo right? is a, that's a name, that's a concert you want to go to there. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, the last one. This is a toughie, all right? This is a tough one, all right? Sheila Cecilia Escovito. Is that Sheila E or Sheila E? Uh, <laughs> Sheila E? Lucille ah! Ball. <laughs> it's Lucille Ball. <laughs> Perfect. That is Sheila E. All right. And on that note, I want to thank you, Sheila E. and Harvey Mason Jr. so very much. What a pleasure it has been hanging and talking to you and having fun. There's one particular artist that I'm thinking about right now, and that's my dear friend Ari Gold, who unfortunately passed away last year. He, like other great contributors of our music may have passed on, but let me tell you, their music still lives on forever. Before I go, I want to let you know there's more of my conversation with Sheila E. and Harvey Mason Jr. on Bottomless Brunch at Coleman's The Podcast, available now wherever you listen. And as we say so long to season four, I want to thank our producers, our crew, our guests, and of course you. Take great care of yourselves. Always drink responsibly and take time to enjoy the music. Bye bye. When it's cold, when it's cold, you better bring your weather with you. Yeah.